So I'm standing here outside by the corner house with my dogs. Our cat, Pumpkin, is on the side of the house, you know, sitting on this thing that my late father in law would call the uh, fireplace or whatever. It's just like a with shingles on it. I, don't, I fed him water to the cat there. She's just sitting there. Guy across the street. Okay, he's had her for six days. Locks her in his big freaking metal piece of shit tomb garage. Alright, it's a mechanic shop that he took over from someone else. I don't want to go on a tangent about that building. Because it... blah blah blah. But, uh... Cat's name is Pumpkin. Okay? If you've seen a lot of my videos about this situation, you know this by now. She's more than 12 years old. Probably about 12 and a half, going on 13 this spring, summer, whatever. Damn it, Blue! <coughs> there, now you got a good view of all the junk that's piled behind me. Anyway. <coughs> so I'm there at dogs. Cats over there, minding their own business. Okay, but before that, like, immediately after I fed her, I went in and I got her a new water dish because I broke the other one because it was frozen. Uh, guy opens his door, I hear him, out of ass, out of ass, out of ass. Not in that particular voice, but in that similar tone and not in that rapid succession. But he said, he called her, three or four times, shut his door. Literally like less than two minutes later, does the same thing again. She doesn't budge. She's just laying there, doing her thing. Do, 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 do. He, done, he did it at least three times. Uh, and You know, this is before I came out with those two dogs. So I'm on the corner with the dogs. I see him slowly meandering, sauntering, whatever, casually strolling across the street, down the driveway, he's like, hi. Grabs the cat. Walks back to his building. Right in front of me. Grabs the cat. Takes her into his fucking building. I'm standing there. I know he hears me. I'm like, this is bullshit. I'm like, what the f you know, I, I said something to that effect several times. I know he heard me, but I walked that way because I didn't want a confrontation. I have anxiety. I don't handle confrontation well. I shake. But if I get angry, I can't, you know, I don't want to lose control. Okay. I have a lot to lose here. I, I have a wife and a kid, you know. I don't want to be going to jail over a cat. Even if she's our family and we've had her for 12 years. But I heard him mutter something about the vet. He claimed he was taking her to the vet. I think that was just to cover, just to get her in his building. See, he doesn't like having her outside in the winter. Even though she's not his cat and has no business being in his building. Okay, her name's not freaking Otis. Her name is Pumpkin, you fucking fuck. Uh, I think that was just the cover, just to get her in his, his building. He's afraid she'll die if it's below 60 degrees outside. Okay, it's probably in the 20s out there right now. But we've had this cat for more than 12 years. And why, you ask, is this cat at house now? Well, this one was born in here, okay? This is the only home she's known. And this cat is an asshole. She is an asshole. She beats up our hound dog. She beats up my papillon. No reason. She's a freaking asshole. Okay? Back to the dogs. Where I to bring Pumpkin in the house, she would not get along with the dogs. I mean, they want to play with her, but she doesn't understand that because her experience being outside is dogs usually try to eat her. I had a dog out back that would chase her. You know? And then our cats in here most likely wouldn't get along with her, most of them. I know these two that aren't spayed that beat up on our dog, two of my dogs. They wouldn't get along with her. Another thing is my sister-in-law had brought the cat in next door before, Pumpkin. She has a nervous disorder where she does not like to be contained. She sits there and pulls her hair out. Okay? And this jackass over here has had her in his building for six fucking days. Six days. He won't let her outside. She came over here briefly on Monday for like five minutes. 
while I was feeding the goats. She went around behind the garage, and then I didn't see her after that. I think he got a hold of her. She's over here today for a few minutes. I give her food and fresh water. That guy doesn't like it. He marches over here and puts her in this fucking building. Because he's an asshole. He's an interloper. He interferes. He doesn't mind his own freaking business. That was already done, by the way. Yes, it was. But, <clears throat> at the very beginning, he's like, I don't understand why you don't shine. I don't want you to anymore shuffling like that. And we tried, both of us tried to explain it to him. She'd been out here her whole life, and, you know, if she was suffering, she would have died a decade ago. Okay? She sleeps in our garage. She has two ways to get out. At least. She sleeps in his garage. It's a freaking metal tomb. If you're going to steal your neighbor's cat, lock in your building, at least put a freaking doggy door on the front of your freaking building. And if you don't want all them stray cats to go in it, quit fucking feeding them out in front of your fucking building, you stupid pecker-headed shit fuck. Three cats. Not now, Willow. I'm talking to the computer. There's three cats that come around. He puts out like six bazillion cans of cat food. He leaves them all over his fucking lot. Okay, the vehicles that come in run them over. Uh, they get stepped on. They get kicked. One of our dogs brings them across the street. They, they're all lined all down the driveway to storage units. There's some all over the side of the road. He doesn't clean up. Okay, if you don't want stray cats on your lot, stop feeding them. You don't bring them into your freaking building, but you're bringing your neighbor's cat, ours. Stop feeding them. Stop stealing your neighbor's animals. We got a neighbor two houses down that has a cat outside all the time, too. Why don't you steal their cat and give it a wrong-gendered hillbilly name? Huh? How about that? Why don't you take their cat and change or change her name to Cletus or Bubba or Jethro or Billy Bob or some shit? The animals think I'm crazy here. I'm talking to the computer. Actually, nobody's even looking at me. But I'm sick of this crap. This nonchalantly comes over, grabs the cat, do -do 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 back to his building. You know, whatever. Maybe he has taken her to bed, but I know he took her uh, back in February, and he claimed that uh, she had bugs. No, it's her nervous disorder. She doesn't like to be indoors. She sits and pulls out her hair. It really does look like I have half of an eyebrow here. Hang on, backwards. Oh, there it is. Weird. Anyway, I don't know if he legitimately took her to bed or not. I went outside, like, and his car's still there. Either way, it's not his place to be doing it. It's not his cat. And how would any of us know if anything was wrong with her if he always freaking has her? You don't just go taking your neighbor's pets because you decide they're not taking care of them. That cat is twelve and a half fucking years old. Okay? Nobody here's new. I mean, my sister-in-law's been taking care of that cat the whole time. But she moved this summer to the other side of town, and now it's my responsibility. Not yours. Her name isn't Otis. You know that. You demonstrate to me that several times. And then you try to pretend like you don't know, because you're like, oh, you refer to her as that orange cat, or blah, blah, blah. But then you openly yelled Otis in front of me, and then you asked me where she is. I'm not going to tell you. Well, like three times he did that here uh, like a month ago. But he's had her in his building since like mid-November. Every now and then he'll put her in at night. Sometimes he'll leave her out, blah, blah, blah. But for six days, she has been locked in his building. Now, the other guy comes, his employee, who was an employee of the last guy, blah, blah, blah. He comes in, and he lets her out when he gets there in the morning, because he's a nice guy. This other guy's an interloping, busybody jackass. So she has to be in there at all times. And you think the reason that she didn't come to you when you called her with that fake name that's not her name, besides the fact that she knows it's not her name, the reason she didn't come to you is because she's tired of being locked in your freaking building. Okay? Leave her alone. You have seven of your own cats at your freaking house. You do not need to be taking our cat. You do not need to be changing her name to Otis. Her name is Pumpkin. Her name is Pumpkin, you fucking retarded fuck. I'm spitting all over the freaking monitor right now. I have to wipe this off. But seriously, 
There's nothing wrong with her. She's not dying. She's not suffering. She was never starving to death. My sister-in-law was freaking feeding her salmon and caused she all kinds of stuff. But she quit eating that because whatever garbage you're feeding her, she eats that. I mean, now she's the point where you feed her, she just picks. I see her, she just picks it, whatever you put out. And she comes over and picks whatever I put out. But, like, in the summer, she'd eat whatever you put out and come over and vomit all over our fucking driveway or all over my car. You have seven of your own cats at home. You have your three strays over there. One of which lives in our garage, technically. Um, and you took her, his mother to the fucking pound after you said you were going to have to spade and bring her back. Um, why don't you play with them cats and leave Pumpkin alone? Pumpkin is our cat. Not yours. She's not your fucking cat. I'm sorry for swearing in this video, boys and girls. I'm really sorry. But I'm fed up with this guy. He's been doing this shit for over a year. And I really wanted to just pound his head in the fucking ground. But I have a wife and kid and pets to think of. And I don't want to go to jail for some schmuck. That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to maybe take a nap. I don't know. Eat breakfast or whatever, and go take care of my goats. Interlopers, busybodies, know it alls. I'm sure some of you people have to deal with those kinds of jackasses in your life. I don't know a way to deal with this guy. I can try to talk to him civilly, but I don't think he's the type of person who goes zoop, zoop, one ear out the other. Or he might resort to violence because one time he did have a little fit over there last year when he couldn't get the cat. Uh, and him and his little puppet were over there, and he was swearing, saying, Oh, I have to fucking get her later. I was like, There they are, they're right there. Because me and my son were out there by the car, and I'm holding her. I'll fucking come back and get her fucking later. And he just gets in his car, storms off. This was like 10 p.m. <clears throat> well, it was 8 something. And then he, came, he did come back at 10 and try to get her. But anyway, I'm, I'm going to go. Okay. Stop that. I'm going to take a nap or something before I have a stroke. Have a nice day. And if you don't, well, it's always tomorrow. I got to go. Look at that. I hit stop and nothing happened. Try again.